All right, so a while back I made a video about macros, just kind of outlining the general process of creating them, and since then I've gotten a couple emails asking for a more in-depth look at macros um, and creating some more complicated macros and that kind of stuff. So this is the macro crash course, the MA3 macro crash course. Very exciting. So let's dive in. I'm on MA3 version 1.6. Uh, if you want an overview on that, I did make a video about that, so check it out. Uh, but if you're all good, let's dive into macros. Okay, so I'm just going to go over to my preset window here. We're going to clear this out. We're going to go to pools and we're going to go to macros. As you can see, I don't have any macros right now. So if you're a little confused on what a macro is, basically it allows you to script multiple commands uh, in MA. It, uh, it's very helpful if you find yourself doing something in your programming um, that is like you were doing it very repetitively um, and you're like, well, I just wish there was a way I could do this faster. Essentially macros are there to make your life easier, which we all like. So uh, we're just going to long press on this. You'll see it comes up with macro there and we're going to go to the edit menu here. Okay. So here we go, we can hit insert new macro line. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a basic macro like I did in um, uh, my video, my first video. This is a full clear, okay. Clear, clear, clear is the command. I'm gonna label it full clear. Brilliant, okay. Um, a couple things about the uh, the weight and all this kind of stuff, um, enabled, all that kind of stuff. Add to command line is really important. This essentially, uh, means does it show up on your command line like in your like are you gonna see it pop up here your macro execute means do you want this to actually execute like do you want it to when you hit the macro actually like run or not all that kind of stuff okay so let's just say that we are good with this uh, we can go out of here uh, I can let's just like select um, some fixtures here brilliant I'm just gonna get rid of this and open my macro window here I'm gonna hit full clear, boom. And now uh, it's run that command and we are all good. Okie dokie. So our next uh, macro is gonna be a little bit more complicated. So let's do this, hit edit. Uh, this macro is going to have a couple of commands. So let's insert new command line here. All right, so what we're going to uh, create is we're going to create a macro for our worlds. Basically, we're going to create a world is selection. So world 99 slash no confirm. Okie dokie. So this is our first command in here. Uh, and I'll walk you through what this is all doing in a second. We're going to add a new command here. Uh, store world 99, uh, 999. Perfect. And you can make that whatever number you want. And now uh, let's do world 999. Perfect. All right, all of these settings look good. We don't want to add a command line. Now let's going to do is now I'm going to label this world is se uh, selection. Great. Okay. So let's close out of this. And now we have a world is selection macro. So if you're a little confused on what worlds are, you should go look it up. You know, it's a helpful thing to know. Not going to do that here because it's going to make this crash course longer. So I'm going to uh, select a couple fixtures. Let's do that. Okie dokie. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want, just want to select my mythos here. I'm going to hit world is selection. Okay, so when you're going to notice that it now says I'm in world uh, 999. This means I am now only this is like an overview on worlds. <laughs> um, I can now only modify like what um, like what these fixtures can have. So this is really helpful if you like you just have a ton of presets and you just want to be able to quickly see what you can apply to a specific fixture. This uh, macro will essentially take your current selection and store it into world 999. We can full clear this and now I can hit it again and it will open everything back up. And that's what that first com uh, line in that code was as well. Okay. And now for our third example, before we go into the next segment of this, which I'm very excited about, let's go into a new command line, and we're going to uh, basically make a block um, uh, macro. So uh, what we're going to do essentially is we're going to do block uh, sequence, and now here we're going to uh, put in, because the, the thing with this macro is it actually needs uh, variables. 
so sequence, uh, then you're going to pick your number, close that, Q, Q, number. Alrighty. Okie dokie. And we can label this uh, block. Alrighty. If you're confused on what block is, I'll probably make a video about that at some point. All right. So for this example, I'm going to need to pull up some playback. So let's uh, just go and we can load in our playback window here. Lovely. And then let's also um, let's actually get rid of this so we can actually see this here. Put our playback there. And then we will put our sequence here. Okie dokie. So I'm now going to hit our block. Okay, so now it's prompting me to enter a sequence number. Let's clear out of that macro. I'm going to block sequence 11. So block 11. Please enter a Q number. So let's say I want to block Q 10. Hit 10. Boom. All right, and now Q 10 is blocked. And you can see that here. Very, very exciting. It is a blocked Q. All right, so those are th uh, three um, very basic macros to start out. You can kind of build on that. You can see how you can now add different variables and things like that to your macros. But sometimes you just don't know what you want, or maybe um, you're just starting with macros and you're like, I really don't want to spend the time creating these. That's totally, totally fine. MA has you covered. Let's go over to settings. Let's go to our import export menu. Alrighty, take a look at this. Okay, this is a whole bunch of predefined macros by MA. Now, if you're not seeing this, you may be in a different um, uh, uh, tag here. You can just kind of uh, go through it. Eventually, you're going to see that. You can see there's a whole bunch of import stuff, and I'm probably going to do a video uh, about that at some point as well. You can import gobos, sounds, symbols, videos, data pools, all that kind of stuff. But we're going to go back to macros. So you can see how all, all of these um, all of these macros here, we have a lines, um, if we go down, we can like see our circular macros, um, a fly out phaser, that kind of stuff. Um, I am, uh, I'm for this example, I'm going to bring in our fly out phaser. I'm going to hit import, and you can now see it is put that at macro four. Great. Um, we can then see off fade and delay layers. I'm going to put that in as well. Uh, park selection that's kind of helpful and you can see you can go through all of these and it's a really really great um, way to start out with macros right and you can kind of look through these as well um, you know we also here you can see we have our world is selection macro this is essentially the same macro that we just created here but you can see it's also built in here as well unlock unpark selection you can import that you get the idea you can import multiple you can select multiple ones um, there are some really helpful ones including one that I'm making a video about next week so stay tuned for that so that is really the crash course on macros you can see um, with these two examples that I gave how you can kind of start building up your own uh, MA macro collection for what your show needs and you can also see how starting out with these more predefined macros can get your show file up and running uh, much quicker so yeah stay tuned for another video next week where we're going to use one of these predefined macros uh, to make some really really cool phasers and effects all right catch you guys later Oh, can you do me a favor, actually, before you head off? Can you please subscribe if you haven't already? And also, uh, yeah, like this video because it's, it's helpful. The more people you know, view the video, uh, the more people like it. So, yeah, thanks so much, guys. I will catch you next week.